Okay, Thursday. Hey, it's Story Pipe. I'm Joel. We got animal activist news. Number three. Running of the nudes. This is what PETA's up to these days. Right before the running of the bulls in Spain, 1,000 nude PETA activists participated in a fun run. Basically, it's to bring attention to the fact that, mm, for fun, they run bulls in the streets, right? And then they have bull fights, right? What's wrong with that? Well, bull fights are basically these really, really hideous things where they cut the tendons on the back of a bull and then they kill them for entertainment. Reading the statistics, apparently like 20% of the people who attend walk out before it's even done because they're just horrified by the whole thing. People really don't know what bullfights are about. Yeah, I think it's good for PETA to go expose that a little bit. Tradition is not enough in this world, people. Tradition is not enough for you to continue doing what you do. If it's a bad idea, it's bad. And if it's traditionally bad, that just makes it worse, right? There's a lot of traditions in this country that we stopped, like, Slavery. Number two, PETA is after Amazon for selling two cockfighting magazines. An Amazon spokeswoman says they sell the magazine because they are committed to free speech. And they like, like cockfighting. <laughs> Maybe not. But free speech is a good argument, right? You can't go down the path of deciding what people do or do not want to buy. And it's not PETA's role in this world to ban books. If it's legal to publish a cockfighting magazine, then I think it's okay for a company to buy it. If they choose not to because they find it disgusting, that's their choice. But if they, they claim freedom of speech, that's probably a higher principle, and PETA should just lay off. And number one, you can find out more about animal activists at PETA.com, but its former opposing website, PETA.org, used to be for people eating tasty animals, but apparently they got sued uh, their animal pants off. Right? And so PETA now owns PETA.org as well. People eating tasty animals still exist, but it's some stupid website now. I think they really lost that battle. This isn't food, this is what food eats.